This video is going to be over how to add, subtract, multiply, and divide fractions using your calculator. All right, well, the buttons that you really need to know on your calculator um, is this button right here. It's one of the most important buttons, and this is the A, B, slash, C button, which is for fractions. And what you do is whenever you have a whole number or a fraction bar, um, you want to use this A, B, slash, C. So let's practice using our calculator using um, doing these problems here. So whenever you see a fraction bar, you're going to put this A, you're going to punch this A, B, slash, C button. So for instance, one half plus four fifths would be one, and you do A, B, slash, C, two, plus four A, B, slash, C, five equals. So go ahead and try that now, please. One half plus four fifths. And you will see on your calculator one and like a little symbol, three, symbol, ten. And that means one and three tenths. Now do the same thing with two thirds minus two ninths. You go two A slash B or B slash C minus, oh sorry, 3 minus 2 the fraction key 9 equals. So 2 fraction key 3 minus 2 fraction key 9 equals. And on your calculator you should get 4 ninths. Go ahead and try um, the next one and then come back and check your answer. Now that you're back, let's go ahead and try this one. So 2 fraction bar 7 times 1 fraction bar 2, you should get 2 fourteenths. But that is not simplified. So you need to make sure that you simplify that fraction. And you should get 1 seventh. Now, the next one's kind of tricky. So to do the 7, you would, well, first of all, you do 2 fraction key 9 times 7 fraction key 1 fraction key 2. So because it's a whole number, you're going to do 7 fraction key 1 fraction key 2. So you're going to actually hit the fraction key twice in this number. So 2 ninths times seven and one half. On your calculator the first time you should you would get one and twelve eighteenths and that is not simplified so we need to make sure that we simplify that down to the as far as you can go you should get one and two thirds. And the last one you would do six fraction key 9 divided by 7 fraction key 8. Which you would get 48 60 thirds which is not in simplest form. So we need to make sure that we get into simplest form, which would be 16 over 21. Hopefully that has given you a better understanding of the fraction key button on your calculator. Make sure that you contact your teacher if you still are having trouble with fractions.